Hi, my name is Eshma Um I know it's been a while I made a construction related video. I took a little break, so I'm back now. Um, today's video, we are basically going to be talking about how to come by or find artisans for your construction or building project here in Ghana. So without talking further, let's get started. Let's say you've gone through all the necessary processes involved in getting your building started you've gone you sorted out all land related activities you've cleared your land you have everything in place now what you need is getting artisans how do you find these artisans to work on your project so in this video i'm going to share some few tips with you the very first one is through a construction firm why a construction firm? So just as the name suggests, a construction firm is a company that engages in um, construction related activities, being it buildings, um, roads, whatever it is. Um, a construction firm is already going to have um, people that they work with, that is artisans, being it carpenters, masons, electricians, plumbers, painters, and so on. So going through a construction firm is going to be easier to find some of these artisans to work on your project. But you also have to bear in mind in that um, some of these construction firms are going to have certain pricing. That is, um, they are going to have a certain percentage um, as part of whatever the artisans are going to charge or they are the ones going to be charging and have their artisans do their work for um, you. So you have to bear that in mind if you are going to go through a construction firm. Another approach also is through recommendations. If you happen to know somebody who has had their building um, successfully done here in Ghana, you might want to get in touch with such people and find out from them who did various parts of their project, being it the carpentry aspects, the masonry, the painting, plumbing, and so on. And then based on um, those uh, you know, suggestions that you get, you're able to get started with those artisans on your own project. Now also, it is very important to find out from these um, owners, house owners who have had their buildings done, um, some of the experiences that they, encount they encountered with these artisans that they had on their project. And based on the feedback you might get also might influence you wanting to go ahead with the suggestions or wanting you to hold back and then go through another means. So that's also another way by which you can use and find in artisans for your building project. And then another approach is also through website and example is Gigi. So Gigi is a website where you have listings of products and services. So when you go to the services category or section, you're able to find artisans who render services, being it masons, being it carpenters, being it electricians, and so on. Now, bear in mind, these are people you don't know. These are people you've never met before. So in as much as you've been, you've been able to find them um, through their listing, that is either through Gigi or other websites, which I'll find and then you know share with you on the screen, you might want to go through certain series of processes or um, means to be able to validate either the skill or the attitude or the experience and so on. So at the later part of this video, I'll share some of those tips with you. So aside from using a construction firm, aside going through our recommendations and then also through websites, another approach you can also use is through scouting. So wherever you intend to have your building project, let's say if it is here, you might want to take a trip here go around and see buildings that has been done and then get in touch with the owners and find out from them who they use for doing um, various parts of the building and then through those suggestions you might want to still validate those you know um, artisans before you want to have them aboard and even as part of this scouting or using the scouting means sometimes some of the buildings are still ongoing and when you visit those construction sites you're able to meet some of the artisans over there take or exchange contact and then you might want to um, maybe have them aboard and see how best you are able to use them as part of your building project now like i said at the very end of this video i'm going to share with you some of the ways by which you can use to validate some of the skills uh, so you don't you know go find a wrong artisan for your building project as part of all these when it comes to electrical aspect it is very important to find the right electrician who has been certified by the ghana energy commission for the electrical part the reason is because electrical aspect of every project is very crucial if it is not done right it can end up causing damages to your 
appliances or even causing fire to burn down your whole, your whole house so then you might want to find the right electrician for your building project how do you find these certified electrician one of the ways by which is going through the process uh, that i mentioned through a construction firm through recommendation through scouting uh, through website or even through the ghana energy commission so you can get in touch with them and then ask for recommendations for specific um, electricians who may be around the locality where you intend um, having your building project done now aside these um, processes or ways that i have shared after you found the artisan how do you validate that these artisans are good and are going to be able to work on your project uh, well one of the ways is through um, engaging with the artisans themselves asking, um, asking a lot of questions uh, maybe yeah just you know having conversations about a couple of things just to see how they would go about the project and that is going to help you to be able to know that their that particular artisan is the right for the job or not another way is also true owners who have used such artisans you know asking them about the experience and how everything went so far that is also going to help or influence you with your decision to go ahead with the artisan or not and then another way is starting a small project or sort of a prototype project just to be able to validate the skills a prototype project could be a fence wall could be a security post and something just you know it could be a small um should i say what is a water reservoir or anything which is going to let you have an idea about what the capabilities of the artisan um, artisans are so if it is a security post once they are working on it you you know have a look at it you you know see what they are doing and then if you are satisfied with it then you might want to move on to the bigger project if you're not satisfied then you might want to get other artisans to work with the reason why it is very important to validate the skills is that you wouldn't want to find artisans you are going to move directly to your bigger project and if they mess up you know that is going to cost you a lot of money so that is also important to note or go through when you are looking at having your building project done as part of all that i've shared you might be wondering how i came by the artisans that i use for my building project and even also for the bigger project that we are having well i use the recommendation approach I got these artisans through my brother so he's a carpenter and he has been um working on construction site for some time now so he has had a chance to work with some of these people being an electrician mason carpenter plumber tiler and so on so then i asked him to recommend some of the artisans so i'll be able to work with them for my project and then he went i to recommend them so for instance the mason is coming all the way from who he came the, um, all the way from who and i'm sure you might be wondering why don't i find or why didn't i find people who are just around to work with now the issue is that sometimes people within certain locality where you intend to have your building project um that is the artisans aren't so loyal and this might end up affecting your building project if you don't you know pay attention to it an example is you might find artisans especially masons let's say who are supposed to use let's say about 20 bags of cement against let's say 30 loads of wheelbarrow for a certain part of your building project now if there isn't any form of supervision these people may choose to use 18 bags instead of 20 keep 20 um, keep two bags and sell it off and this is not just with regard to um, cement it goes all the way to iron rod um, wood blocks and so on that is if there isn't any form of supervision involved every sometimes even when there's supervision and you are not around in the evening these people you know can just go to the site and still now i'm not saying this happens or this is the case at every place or every locality and these are stories that people have shared on how people especially the artisans steal some of their materials and so on and even if they are aside the stealing of the materials you're also looking at the integrity of the building being put up if we are having concrete being cast and it's supposed to have 20 bags of cement and they are using only 18 bags this is going to affect the building in the long term and um, long term and you are the one who is going to you know suffer the consequences of it that was one of the reasons that i looked out for when we were about starting our project in as much as we wanted to get um local people involved so they can also make something out of it we're looking at ways by which we don't get locals and um, that is so many locals um, who are going to you know end up causing a lot of trouble or challenges or issues to their building project so that was part of the reasons why i didn't mind having the 
uh, Mason come all the way from Ho. Now, also, if you're having somebody come, you know, from a long way to work on a project, you have to also look at how long the project is going to go on so you're able to arrange for accommodation for such person. So if the building is going to go on for, let's say, for one month continuously, then the idea of having somebody come from elsewhere to work on a project is fine. And then also people coming from elsewhere, the chances of they engaging in some of these deviant activities is very low because one, that is not where they are based. Unless of course they stay there for a long time, then maybe they might get corrupted by some of their locals. So like I'm saying, this is not going to be the case at every place, but it is good to look out for this so that you don't find yourself wanting just because you wanted to have locals as part of your project to assist them and then they end up, you know, uh, playing you bad. So that was how um, I got my artisan. So it was two recommendations and so far so good. I haven't had issues or any issues with them at all from the mason, from the carpenter, from the um, plumber, from the um, electrician, all the way through to the tiler and then the painter. All of them have been very good so far and um, um, I can recommend them any day uh, to whoever wants to have um, them as part of their project. So that is going to be about it for this video. I'm sure you find some of the tips that I have shared in this video very useful and you're going to try to be able to implement them as part of your own project. So don't worry so much if you are new in Ghana especially and you haven't got anybody known, you don't know anybody who is going to uh, maybe help you with your project you can implement some of these steps and definitely I'm sure you'll be able to find great artisans to work on your project